And welcome back to the One Planet Challenge. We um we have a we have some problems, obviously. Um, let's take a quick look here at the core. Uh, if we're doing okay here in terms of uh, energy, etc., we're currently at plus one, which is, I guess, acceptable. Our technology is exploding, which is also very nice. But uh, energy-wise, we are a little bit struggling, at least until this energy grid is up and running, or we have something along the lines of a power nexus. You, sir, you are building a frontier outpost up in here just to get a little bit more energy, which I think is going to be rather important. Even though in space, energy is not something that gets produced fairly easily. We're also a little bit over our fleet cap. We do have a singular cruiser, which I guess is kind of nice. Uh, we still have not uh, turned that off. Maintaining state cohesion as we venture into space presents a unique... We shall face the challenge head on. System charted. Yes, it does uh, create unique challenges. I have just upset my girlfriend because she's baking a cake and I was making brownies. And then she's like, you got to put your brownies back into the into the oven. So I have opened Star the oven and then instantly charted. her cake collapses. So this makes me a bad person. Um, you're serious. So here's something that I did not expect. Uh, an alert communications office has identified what appears to be a faint signal. Almost lost in the gamma ray flashes from the black hole here. Faint but unmistakable artificial. Situation log updated. We have the horizon signal. Star system charge. That is actually highly amusing. Um, with the one planet challenge, it actually doesn't really add all that much. So let's just continue with this. Uh, well, we could, I guess, completely convert uh, convert our, our our home system into something a little bit bigger, but still. Um, yeah, this is not going to be good. Uh, robot, uh, robot pops may be interesting. Mm, Urantic crystals. Hmm. Are we an empire? We're an empire, right? No, we are a democracy, right, because we're not doing the whole crazy, out-of-control vassal things. Uh, following the recent advances in the fields of robotics, our research suggests the ancient neural scans, once recovered from alien vault, potentially could be used. Um, we are going to leave the aliens for now until we at least have synthetics. Also, our admiral is pretty garbage because he does not have spe uh, space logistician. Uh, I think we can add one or two naval capacity onto our fleet by adding an additional module slot. We can get an observatory, which we definitely want, because of all the science! That's right. I just randomly yell science for no discernible reason. Quite frequently, ask my girlfriend. She's totally real, she's from Canada. Uh, from Canada. <laughs> it's, Why would I be from Canada? It's a high school joke, sweetie. Oh. Yeah. There was always that guy who claimed they had a girlfriend, but they would nobody would ever know her, know where she was from. So she was clearly from Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do have some more structural problems, sadly, and that is mostly because of the stuff that's around us. These guys, they do like us. Uh, we do have a federation going for the moment with the Covenant of Naboria. The big problem is the Saban Horde right now. Uh, which is going to cause some problems in the long term. Let's hope that we can also get this energy up and running. We're plus three. Um, Food-wise, we should actually be pretty strong. Uh, incompatible inoculations is still an issue. But I almost feel like we've started off with too many... Are you okay there? This... You're having a fight with the kitchen. With the cake. As it, as it now collapsed, then. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, 22 months. Oh, hello there, Military Academy. We'll take you. You know, honestly, though, military stuff in this game, completely, completely useless. I really see no use in it whatsoever. Whoever's going to go to war with us first is going to completely raffle stomp us as well. Uh, that's highly unfortunate. We could place a frontier outpost here, just to sync up our territory a little bit. Get access to all of this here. That'd be nice. Right now, we're at 1.58 influence income, so... 
the Saban Ward. We could we could rival them, uh, give us some influence. Uh, but I'd rather rival the Reavers on the other side of the galaxy. Only plus zero ten. That's not a lot. Star system charted. Mm. Is there anything here that we can add to our Federation? These guys. That's mostly because of the Covenant of the Boria. These guys don't want to join. How about these dudes? We could integrate the subject, but I'm not particularly interested into that. Uh, your anti crystals, plasteel armor. Let's go for uh, engineering facilities. And if you hear some laughing in the background, it's because my girlfriend is watching 10 minutes of dank burb memes. Yay. Burb memes. Construction complete. We have cruisers already? Yeah, we do. Uh, should we just quickly take a look here at some of these designs? Uh, this he definitely wants. Hyperdrive 2. New sensors. We've got new shields. So that is done. Uh, we did want to build a new cruiser design. And then just auto-complete the design here. Put another reactor on here. There we go. Cool. So we'll turn this into our um, uh, ship of the line. Classic ship of the line designs, really. Uh, nothing too crazy there. We probably should get rid of our automatic cruiser design because it is beyond garbage Technology secured. why am i upgrading a colony ship i don't know man it's not like we're ever going to use one well we'll probably use one star uh, system charted defense stations however we do want to do stuff with because we will want to get a bunch of these up and running and we want to put proxy mines on those so We're currently 46 years into the game, so... Hmm. Military Academy, Terraforming, Fleet Academy. Fleet Academy is good. Give us a solid bonus on everything. Orbital Hydroponics, we don't really need. Let us build a defense platform right next to here. And we found a new civilization somewhere. Yeah, they're all the way down here. It's not really interesting to us whatsoever. Uh, let's upgrade the fleet. Let's get the cruiser up and running to a better class. Vessels Good. 1.3. Okay. Scientist is leveled up. Um, automatic... Exploration. Let's have you set to assist research. I'm not entirely sure why that wasn't the case already. Um, so we have Interstellar Dominion. I kind of want to go for faith and science as soon as we can. It's going to be important to get that anyway. Oh, man, our... Which is our best scientist, actually? It's this guy. So... Let's just have you do... Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of scientists that are Star pretty good. This charted. one in particular. So we want him to do uh, assistant assistant research here on the core. Which I feel is going to be pretty important. You're building a military station. What are you doing? You're still building that frontier outpost. That's fine by me. Uh, we're going to build another military station here. Just in case these guys decide to get cute. They are... Well, board friction Star minus 122 charted. is not insignificant, to say the least. Okay, so this pop is Star finally going to grow charted. soon. I, incompatible with calculate, uh, inoculations. Still causing Star some problems, charted. sadly. Okay. Actually, we don't have any destroyers whatsoever. Did we completely dis skip destroyers? I think we did. Yeah, it looks like we completely skipped destroyers. So let's take a quick look here at our destroyer design. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. It's like, yeah, we, oh, that's a cake that's done. Okay, let's just throw one additional cruiser in there just to 
fleshen things out a little bit. But uh, our, our biggest problem right now is we don't have a lot of friends. Um, how about you guys? Oh, they're, they're my friends, definitely. Uh, even though their fleet power is superior, they would I don't think they would ever go to war with these guys. Complete. Okay, there's our economy into the shits. So I want to get all these mining stations up and running. Star system charted. More mining stations I can get. Let's get some research stations in here as well. Technology secured. I want this one too. Okay. So the, the fleet Acad Grand Fleet Academy, Biolab 2, absolutely. Energy Nexus, absolutely Star as well. Let's charted. get a Fleet Academy in there. Let's just cancel this cruiser and rebuild it after the Fleet Academy is done. Just so you can get an additional bonus on there. It's not a lot, but it's still fairly interesting. 0 0.59. Uh, Anti-cast, reproductive freedoms, freedom of movement, anti-theocracy, indirect, legislating a passive... Oh god, did we not have that? Oh good, L oh good lord, let's not do that. And let's set all of this stuff to passive. There we go. That should make our... Okay, let's do this. Updated. No purges, land grab objections. That is all fine. Okay, good, let's, stop. let's just... Uh, can we just track all on map? Yes, we can. Okay, so you're doing automated exploration. That's fine. Let's get all these research projects. Ah, oh, god damn it, we don't have access to that space. That is really annoying. And that's the only that's of course the last one. So we're gonna need to finagle that a little bit. Guardians of Zanon are slowly but steadily guards starting to get to a point where we can probably Jesus Christ, this system is loud. Uh, where we can slowly but steadily start to take it. Just waiting for this pop here to grow. Plus one. Hmm. How's our tech doing? It's 26 months still. Planetary power grid. Biolab 2. Engineering facility 2. It's like we're, we're 47 years in. Like generally you want to have one science per year. Is, by, is for me at least the standard. But so far... Could be a little bit better. Oh, hello there. I did not notice that we have a bunch of energy here that can be mined. Let's get this energy up in here. Star system charted. Okay, so energy wise, we are fairly stable now. As soon as that cruiser comes off the production line, it's gonna Construction be yeah, much complete. Um Oh, good lord, that does not help at all. Um, yeah. So that's 22 months until Energy Nexus. Did we? No, the Pursuit of Profit is actually really good. Uh, because it adds two unity from Energy Grids and Energy Nexus. But that's not something that's on the cards right now, sadly. Star system charted. Can we... Technology secure. It's just like, we don't want to join your federation, you scumbags. It's like, why? We got all the cool stuff over here. We got, like, cookies. Like, you want some cookies? Cookies are good. Robot parts. Admiral gain straight. Is it fleet logistician? It is. What a surprise. Uh, okay, that's one engineering lab. We're actually kind of ahead on the engineering department. Come on, grow, you stupid pop. Give me energy. He's like Goku. He needs to build the spirit bomb, okay? There we go. And I did jack. Fuck all. Construction complete. Uh, in incompatible inoculations is really messing with our happiness, which is really annoying. At least this, this is going to be upgraded. When is incompatible inoculation supposed to be done? Three years from now. That's way too far away. At least we got a bunch of worlds that we can... Ooh, how low there. What's our... Uh, influence income is garbage. I really wish we could crank that up a little bit, but sadly we're kind of... Saban Horde and Odiger. Oh, good lord. Odiger is completely crippled. 
Uh, Saban, you are. You don't like them. You have pretty much rivaled everybody among the stars. If I declare rivalry with you, it's plus 40. I'm actually really tempted. They are a devouring swarm, so let's just declare a, high, a rivalry. I know that they have like 6,000 fleet power in their fleets or something stupid like that. There's not much I can do about it, so... Live and let live, I guess. They'll come for us sooner or later. Uh, they'll probably declare war on these guys next, actually. Yeah, very likely, actually. Yeah, they get the re they these guys did not have a good roll of the dice. Saban Horde and the Reavers. Right next to them. It's just that's just a badly dealt hand, man. Special project complete. Starblock has been secured. Ah, that's good. 250 society and research is always nice. The the problem with the inoculation stuff is is that you really roll the dice with them. Hey, about you guys? Other oh, the administration, oh, they they like us okay-ish. We got mutual rivals, so that kind of made things a little bit better. Mutual threats. Yismorg Nation. The Huffner Imperium. Hey, I'm oh, okay. These guys are pathetic. Uh, who do you got? The Federation Astosian. Their Federation Association and the Velitria Star League. I have no idea what the Velitria Star League is. Oh, they're all the way down here. Uh, well, at least we got more minerals than we know what to do with, so at least that's positive. Like, having this... Yeah. Having this energy being improved would be so good, but we just don't have any it's options for it. What do you want? Research agreement. The Imperial Satit Constituents. Who the fuck are you guys? Imperial... Okay, you the guys over here. Uh, how are you doing technology-wise? You're inferior to us? You want to give us some minerals? Um... Actually, I will agree, because you may be able to hold off the Saban Ward for a little bit longer. Which, don't get me wrong, is actually going to be pretty important. Technology secure. What have we got? Biolab 2. Cryo... Saito Revitalization Center, maybe? Terraforming speed. Army upkeep. Ship upgrade costs reduced. Droids, maybe interesting. Teldar Crystal's kinetic weapon damage. Special project complete. That's another 250 society research. Afterburners and coil gun. Let's go for a Gargantium Ore, so we can get a little bit more DP, a little bit more damage on our ships. Or at least a little bit more hull on our ships. War declared. Who? The Istran Hive. And who? The Bufahondum Administration. Who the hell are those? Oh, they're the dudes next door. Star system charted. Uh... Okay, we are not allowed to declare war at this moment in time. Sadly, we don't know what this war is for. Which is a little bit annoying. Because if I knew what this was for, it's probably for everything, to be honest. And they've got four worlds, five worlds even. But what I would really like to do is... Oh, I'm now the leader of the Armada. Oh, nice. What I would really like to do is maybe go to war with them to vassalize them, but I just don't have the the sheer amount of power necessary for that. Also, the Free Citizen Group really won't like that. Wait, no, that's our only faction? Holy shit, we only have one faction. Anti-caste, reproductive freedoms, free movement. We only have one faction. That's crazy. Let's change our policies for war. Construction complete. And we can't do it until next year. Yeah, these guys are not going to like us soon because of the our change of war uh, policies. What kind of ships do they have in here? 3.5k. That's a lot. 
Uh, let's go into our f no our fleet designer. I, I almost did it again. Um, that's a hell. Really? That's that's the best we can do. And it's pretty expensive, I guess. Uh, let's just build some. We can't build Federation cruisers. Okay, let's just build some Federation dest destroyers then, I guess. Just fleshing out the fleet a little bit. Yeah, so we'll just send our armada over here. Uh, maybe get a Gale Speed guy in there. Energy Nexus now here. Physics Lab. Hyper Shields already. Uh, Petherian dust, we just don't really need. Naval capacity is always nice. Armor torpedoes, actually really nice. Quantum missiles is nicer, though. Okay, so let's upgrade you. It's gonna be nice for our energy output. Is this all? Really, all you have? How about our allies? Our allies are actually absolutely garbage. They got a tiny friggin' fleet. Like the hive. Where's the hive? Is this the hive fleet? No, it's a special the... project complete. Uh, Tessargoid. Another 250 society research. But funnily enough, we're, we're literally on the cusp of getting hyper shields. Um, 200, uh, only 50 uh, years in. Not gonna lie, that's pretty crazy. Uh, our Fed fleet is being upgraded nicely. Yeah, I really want to vassalize these guys. Just so they can give me more resources. That'd be good. a good thing. Otaga refugees arrived. The battered fleet of a small civilian vessels carrying Otagans fleeing the Saban Horde has arrived in our space. After we supplied them with food and provided them medical attention, the, we're allowed to settle on core? Excuse me? These ragged and frightened refugees are survivors from the extermination program carried out by the Saban authorities against their species. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you can science. What kind of what kind of species are you? You are sedentary, enduring, quick learners, and rapid breeders, of course. And you're fungoid scum. Decent living standards. I want to give you academic privileges. Yeah, full military service, colonization rights. I could just I could just turn them into slaves. Mine, mine into salt mines all day long. Okay, so are they actually really happy that they were allowed into the territory? I, I guess. Uh, oh, that's the administration from next door. These are the real problems. Mutual threats. I, I could technically r rival them. Star system charted. What am I? Minus two. Where's this minus? Free. Oh my fucking god! Ensuring the free movement of pops by allowing all species access to the core worlds, prohibiting forced resettlement and disabling Listen migration controls. I I did all of that, didn't I? Native deference. Resettlement is prohibited. Peaceful. Refugees are welcome. What did I do here that was wrong? Yeah, man. Let's, let's take a look at our default rights here. Everybody gets academic. Colonization is allowed. Migration is allowed. What is, what is the problem here? No population migration. Oh, well, there's your problem. And they like us instantly again. There we go. Saved. Well, they can toil in our labs immediately. Uh, science. Funnily enough, the glorious Fed Armada is now pretty much on par with all the other stuff that's nearby. Ooh, 12 minerals in here. That is pretty nice. Still cannot... What's this? Ruragarians. 
Yeah, 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 whatever. Um, let's set our war philosophy to unrestricted. This is probably a huge mistake. Though our influence is not really causing any problems. What's up? You're at war with the Istran Hive. Because you have a defensive pack. No, what? How weak are you? Because I do need some vassals. Uh, okay, they have Federation Association status. Whatever, man. Uh, can I vassalize? Ooh, I can vassalize you, but... That's... Odegar... Interesting. I could vassalize you if I really wanted to. Oh, and they'd be cool with it as well. How many ships you got? Interesting. So, I have a marginally small fleet. Uh, the Hive will probably consume these dudes, but that's to be expected. Uh, Chemical Bliss could be useful. Let's just do go for some terraforming instead, though. Four months until Polytechnic Education. So that's, that's nice. Uh, you're just working in the lab. Uh, it's it's going fairly okay so far. There we Special go. Special project complete. Sneerin. Yeah, it's another 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 bunch of uh, resources right there. Wait, did the academic privilege? Did that happen? Stars Holy shit! Did it finish? Started. Yes, it did. Everybody's happy again. The inoculations are gone. We got science. We got resources. We have a ton of influence as well. So we can use that to claim new worlds. How much energy is in here? Garbage amounts. Uh, no. Oh, six. I do want to get this nebula, though. This nebula would be a nice addition because we can find Zro in here. Plus five research. Hmm. Or I could just hook up these... These areas together. But I wouldn't get a lot of energy out of it. But I would get a lot of minerals, though. So let's just build another Stars frontier outpost. Right it. But yeah, the administration. Uh, their fleet power is... Why is their technology equivalent? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, that's polytechnic education. And then we have faith and science. Coming up. Why? What the hell? Isn't... Didn't I have a... What, what the hell are you doing? Where's my level... F automatic... Just, just... 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 Just go here. Assist research. There we go. And... Ooh. The Yamoris is gone. Ooh. That is potentially really bad. complete. Can... Can I bribe you? I have, I have some stuff. It's four minerals is a lot. Maybe some strategic resources. What do I have a lot of? I have some Garganthium ore. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll throw some research. 75. Maybe some... That's 82. And that would bring us in the positive. Do you have any rivals? The Hulfir Imperium. Let's declare a rivalry here. Okay, that brings this one down. That's good. Alright, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the One Planet Challenge endures, but I don't think we're going to last a particularly long time at this rate, which is relatively large hive right to the south of us and i also want to vassalize all of these dude bros over here and that's gonna take some time thanks so much for watching and until next time take good care of yourselves and as always each other